What's good? What's good? This is Stiko. This is Stiko, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor right now. Subscribe to the channel. Toda mi gente. Gracias por soporte. Let's keep this movement going. And yo, yo, man, there's certain levels of life that you reach, right? When you first start doing anything, you put in the work, you grind, and you hope that one day you get the opportunity just to take off, right? Just, just go to places you ain't never seen before. But what happens when you reach that one door, maybe two or maybe three, you go into that door and you don't like what you see. Do you take whatever they give you and then basically control you? And then, because let's be real, there are sometimes when you look at certain individuals, right, they just pop up on the scene and you're like, wow, how did they just take off? They got a million views on one interview, never heard of this person, none of that. And you're like, hmm. That don't even add up with the things I'm doing. So the question falls back is, how far can you take it? How far you think you're gonna reach to get to that level? And then when you do get to that level, what are you willing to sacrifice? That's what it comes down to, right? Y'all probably like, what is he talking about? Otra vez, man, with this whole conspiracy. Que lo que está pasando, bro? Hey, we got Charleston White and Aiden Ross. Wow. Never never would I thought that them two would be combining together. The OG with the new generation. I ain't gonna lie to it was a little entertaining at first. I, I, I was tuned in, but I kept saying, man, how is that even possible? Like, you know what Charleston White stands for. He's a character. He does anything, says anything just to get your attention, just to ruffle some feathers in Aiden Ross. He's always on some, I don't know, I can't, I can't even put it, I can't even put it together. Because there's times where he has conversations with Andrew Tate and he does some off the wall things. I'm like, what are you doing? I think where it got really, really like, it didn't, it didn't sit well with me was the, the way they were treating Charleston White when he showed up. When he showed up, it was, it was, let's take him to Dick Resort. And, and, and this is another thing too. They had one here in the city. So I was surprised that he didn't know what it really was, but it, the way they were talking to him and knowing who he is as a person, you know, Unc and the nephew. Um, I kept saying, man, he's out there for a reason, right? Because when an opportunity shows with anybody, if you tell me, hey, you're about to go sit down with Joe Rogan, I, I stop everything I'm doing just to go Go sit down with Joe Rogan. Let's 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 figure something out. Let me let, let me hear what he gotta say to me, and maybe I could take some of the things. No, not maybe I'm gonna take the information that he gives me and figure out how to you know lift up my platform. That that's the reason why I feel like Charleston White said, you know what? I don't know Aiden Ross like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance and see what's out there for me. Let's see if maybe there's some opportunities for me that I don't have right now and potentially take me to another level. Because that's all we that's what we do, right? We climbing up the stairs. We taking one step at a time, hoping that in the process we learning something and continue growing from it. And that's what I that's what I take from what whatever happened. But now they got the back and forth. Aiden Ross got something to say and Charleston White say Charleston White on say cheese, Sean Khan, keep doing your thing. I'm watching it and I'm like, man. Was he about to be sacrificed? Was he about to step into that one door, you know? The Illuminati door, the, the highest of the highest. Was he about to go in that door? And next thing you know it, man, his spirit wouldn't allow it. Mm -mm, it wouldn't. But the crazy thing about it, though, man, this is the crazy thing about it. This is how powerful the tongue is when you speak it. When he was talking on, on you know, his, his little rants that he was doing, he said that he wanted to be part of the Illuminati. He wanted to be involved in it. He wanted to just go all the way in. He was about to sacrifice. He was about to do whatever it took just to be in that club. And then when the when it does present itself, you start seeing, you start feeling, you start thinking that this ain't for me. I don't want all that money. I don't need all that money. Because there is that's one thing that he did describe. Like you reach a certain amount of money in your life that you don't even know what to do with it. And you start doing things that don't even make sense, that doesn't sit well with your with maybe your religious beliefs, uh, with uh the things that you think about how life should be. Uh and, and you say, nah, this ain't for me. This ain't for me, man. This is where we draw the line. And 
I've always wondered because I heard stories like this about you going to certain doors and you get exposed to certain things and you say, nah, it ain't the way I want to go. It ain't the way I want to go. Because he describes this one part that I heard this one before from a mutual friend that, that, I, that, that was involved in the music business that he went to this one room in in ho in a, in a hotel in in Las Vegas, and they had food. They had you know the women. It is what it is. But they had all this. You know they had the the they had it all in there, and they were trying to basically say, hey man, you could be part of this, and we can continue growing this, right? So I had a, I had that that friend of mine tell me a story like this about what they did with water bottles, and even Charleston White said I didn't touch anything. I didn't want to eat anything because I, I didn't hear too many stories. I mean that that was. And, it, and, it, and I thought about my homeboy that he said that to me, and I was like, wow, this thing, this thing travels all around. I'm guessing that you reach a certain level that you could do it on your own, and you can't do it on your own, right? Because me personally, I would like to hit at least half a million to a million dollars to see how that feels, to see what I, see what I could do with that. But anything above let's just say 20 or 30 million dollars for one person. Kind of like when people play the lottery, man. The lottery, everybody going crazy and it hits a billion dollars. You're telling yourself, what am I going to do with a billion dollars? You know what I mean? That's a lot of things you could do with it, of course, but then there's going to be a point where you've done so much, you don't even know what to do with it. But it, 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 it hits Austin White. Who was right and who was wrong? What what direction can 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 any both of them go right? Because for me, the way I look at it, Charleston White said, "You know what? Let me try this and see where it leads to." Andy Ross did the same thing. Let me go ahead and bring them up to my platform and see where this goes. I think they both needed each other to see, okay, what can we create out of this? But found out real quick that, hey, this ain't what I thought it was, and then we can't continue going. But you got to ask yourself, man, if you're doing anything with just anything in general with businesses and life, there is going to be a level that you're going to reach. But there's another level. What is it? What are the things that you're going to say to yourself? This is what I'm going to do and this is what I'm going to sacrifice. This is what I'm going to expect to. This is what they expect from me. So now what do I do? These are the questions that sometimes do cross my mind, y'all. The thing that keeps me in peace is family. But imagine when you don't have the family, when you're hungry, you're starving, you're trying your best. You don't. Nobody gives you an opportunity, and then boom, just like that, an opportunity shows itself. And everything that you expect it to be, plus more, is there, but they want you to do certain things that doesn't sit with the values, your religious beliefs, your standards. It doesn't sit well with you. And what do you do? I know what I would do. I'll be like, no, I'm good. I'm good. If I'm already at that level and people are already watching me, that means I'm already getting paid. You know what I mean? I'm already doing my thing. But I salute Charleston White. I really do on that one, man. Because maybe he saw something that very few people get to see. Aiden Ross, he already, he already doing his thing. So keep doing your thing, man. <laughs> like, but for me to get involved in something like that, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Be careful what you wish for. Because like I said before in my other one, all money ain't good money. But y'all let me know in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Who was right, who was wrong, who did what. You know what I'm saying? There's so much video out there and footage for y'all to check out. Y'all pull it up and see. Y'all let me know what y'all think on this one, man. But do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. See the Guta Loca Media. Press like. Share this video on your social media platforms. Drop a comment in the comment section. I'm always interacting with me. Hand to your side. Hit the notification bell to get notified. Visit the website r2drec.com. And always remember, have peace in your heart. Have faith. And never give up. All right. One.
What's good? What's good? Hey, this is Steak. Or hey, somewhere on here, there's a link to my music page. Y'all go check out the music. We got video, visuals. Uh, we got audio. Trust me, we got some dope music. When you get a chance, subscribe to that channel as well. The music is on there. Hey, let's keep this rolling, man. Y'all know what it is, man. This is Steak. All right, one.